is a game collection. Um, mainly, actually pretty much all Xbox, except for a few. Um, I've been collecting them for uh, five years-ish. Um, there's a lot more games, obviously, on digital. Most of these are 360s because uh, I was younger then and I, didn't want, I wanted the disc instead of digital. But um, here is my game collection, obviously physical copies. Right, so I'm going to start off with Nintendo Switch, which I've only got a few of. Um, hopefully I'm going to try and get the new um, Mario uh, 3D Trilogy uh, for like around Christmas. So I've got... Uh, Animal Crossing. I'm not going to show you the insides because uh, I've got I've got quite a bit, so I don't want it to take too long. Luigi's Mansion Three as uh, it's pretty good. I haven't finished it yet. I might do that. Mario Maker Two. Really liked it. Finished it. Super Mario Party. Really fun. And Minecraft. Mainly just got it um, as sort of a tradition. Now we're moving on to 360 games. Starting off with actually two exceptions which are original 360 games. I've got Halo Combat Evolved and GTA San Andreas. This is actually my newest um, game, despite being the second oldest. Okay, now you've got the non-Call of Duty uh, 360 games. So I've got GTA 5, Really fun, simple game on 360 version. Uh, not so much now on the Xbox. Still fun, but not simple. Minecraft Xbox 360, probably my most played game uh, from 360. Left 4 Dead, God Excited Left 4 Dead 2. It's really good. I still haven't played all the maps. Far Cry 3, got it from Paris Inkles Video, played it for like 20 minutes. Still still okay. Mortal Kombat 9, had so much fun when someone came around to my house on 360. Fable 2, I got this for um, pretty cheap. It's actually really good, I think uh, not a lot of people know it. And Battlefield Hardline, I got, I spent like 40 quid on this game. Because uh, it looks really cool, because I was a child, obviously. Right, so um, Lego Worlds, I got this for my brother. Uh, it, was, it was quite good, didn't play it too much. Friday the 13th, £30. I enjoyed it, but none of my none of my friends had it, so I I just didn't play it that much. Uh, quite boring without friends. I hope my friends will eventually get it. But uh, I'm just gonna keep it just in case like I want to sell it, or if um if I want to play it if someone's out of my house like next Halloween. Hopefully, coronavirus is over. Sniper three. I got this for cheap at CEX, which is like a second hand game slash DVD shop. <sighs> just boring. I, I played it. Doom Remastered. I loved it. I, I completed the entire campaign. I think I completed it on just normal. Uh, I didn't get all the action figures or anything. I just I just played it all the way through, which is actually rare for me. And I didn't play the multiplayer at all. I haven't played a single match of uh, Doom multiplayer. Because the campaign is just good by itself. I, just, I think this game is really overlooked. Um, Minecraft Xbox One Edition, I just got this so I could play it with my mates on the new Xbox. I think that's the same with all Minecrafts, the new gen. Battlefield One, I got this with the Xbox One. I don't think it's a bundle, I just got it like the same Christmas. Um, I really liked it, I played the campaign for a bit, but especially like the multiplayer, like the Conquest game ones, they're really good. I hope Black Ops Cold War is, is just as good as, Black, as Battlefield 1 multiplayer. Mortal Kombat X, I just got it because um, because it looked really cool and everyone was talking about the fatalities. It's fun, I don't think it's as fun as um, Mortal Kombat 9, I think Mortal Kombat 9 is better. Go Simulate the Bundle, I got this when I was a kid, uh, it's just fun. If you're, if you're into like games, not for like the progress or gamer score, or like even playing with mates. Just, just get this game. It's it's so fun. You now you've got the 360 Call of Duty games, classic ones in in order. Uh, here they are. Modern Warfare in order of when they came out. Uh, Modern Warfare 2. I didn't play it as much as I thought I would. Black Ops, probably my favourite Call of Duty of all time, just behind COD 4. But definitely my favourite COD game on disc. Modern Warfare 3. I, I got this just so I could get every Call of Duty game. 
Black Ops 2. <sighs> I'd probably play this more than Black Ops, but in hindsight, Black Ops is a more solid game. This is so much fun, though, considering how many people played it with. I think that's why I played it so much. Call of Duty Ghosts. I've got the... I've got the... Like, the pool one. Uh, I, I spent so much on Ghosts. Right, so, first Xbox One card game, Ghosts. Uh, got this for a tenner. I, I can't believe I bought it twice. It's actually better on the 360. It's one of the, it's one of the worst games I've ever bought. I'm not even saying that because people hate it. I, I, I thought Ghosts was okay. I, I sort of like the campaign. Bit cheesy, but let's be fair, all COD campaigns are cheesy, apart from the earlier ones. And that's it. And Black Ops 4, because it doesn't have a fucking campaign. It's that shit. I'm really, I'm really passionate about these games, because I, I grew up on, like, Black Ops, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 2. I know that sounds stupid, because I wasn't even that old, but, like, I got these games when they were, like, dying. And these were the games I played when they were popular, right? And they're terrible. I've got two versions of Advanced Warfare. One for £4, one for £8. It should be neither. It should be less than both. Not combined. Less than £4. It should be about £1. I don't know why I have two versions. I think I got I think I think got it twice by accident by someone buying it me. Advanced Warfare, in my opinion, had a better multiplayer than Ghosts. But the campaign, I hate... It's not a... It's not a bad campaign in gameplay. It's just so stupid with the story and it's not even fun with the story. It's just a bad story. Now, this is actually a funny story. Black Ops 3. I play Black Ops 3 so much. It's probably my most played uh, Xbox One COD behind behind only two games. Behind the most recent Modern Warfare, which, I, to, be, to be fair, I didn't even play it as much as my mates. And Modern Warfare Remastered, I really love that game. I'm, I'm a really big fan of Modern Warfare 1 for some reason. I think it's just because it's so simple, but not in the way that the new CODs are simple. Like, simple in a good way. But Black Ops 3, I really enjoyed it, because it had vibrant colours in it. Um, and I got so enraged by someone killing me that I opened the disc, I went like that, and I took out the cover, scrumpled it up and put it in the bin. I know, absolute mad lad move, and I just replaced it with that, Black Ops 3, even though there's a disc there. So, yeah, I was a very contained person. Right, um, next, in Infinite Warfare slash Modern Warfare Remastered. Infinite Warfare was okay. I think it got way too much hate. Um, Modern Warfare Remastered... Uh, it is sort of banking on nostalgia, but I like that it's sort of that people who played COD 4 can actually go back to a game. And then they sort of ruined it with the new weapons. That just sort of. That ruined the entire game. Black Ops 4. I'm not even being. This, this game is the worst Black. It's the, it's the worst Call of Duty I've ever played. It's the least I've played any Call of Duty. I played Call of Duty 2 and 3. And COD Classic more than I've played this game. And those games, um, I played COD 2 a lot. COD 2 is, is honestly way better than than most people uh, think it is. But COD, uh, COD Black Ops 4 is just it's just a disappointment. The Warzone game mode, the Battle Royale thing, it was okay. Campaign, I'm glad they didn't have a campaign actually. Black Ops 3 campaign was awful, right? So um, at least they didn't have a campaign. Um, I, I don't even remember if they had a zombies. I didn't even. But they did have a zombies. The zombies. I don't even remember anything. And the multiplayer was just. It was just a combine. It was just a combination of Black Ops Three, Black Ops Three graphics, Black Ops Two guns, Black Ops One maps in in a in the worst way possible. It is the. I'm. I'm so glad that Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the, 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 new, the new one, existed. I'm so glad that, that that has revived Call of Duty. I'm not even being hyperbolous. I did have that on disc, actually, but I sold it because it, it was very laggy. I'm not saying it's a bad game. I think it's really good. I think it's the best Call of Duty 
since Black Ops 2. But Black Ops 4, it just makes me mad. I didn't even buy that on release because I knew, I saw that and I went, that's, that's, that's not even worth it. That's not, I can't play it ironically like Infinite Warfare and I can't play it normally like I would with most others. World War Two as well. I I had that on digital, and that that was that was bad, but it was still okay. I, you could still play it. Just I don't even know why I hate this game. So I'm just ending the video. Now.